Jeremy Finlayson, uh, first real official hit out with the club. How did that feel for you? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, in front of the Port, port fans here, um, I come from the Giants, and just to see the amount of Port fans that we've got here, and um, yeah, it was just amazing to be out there with the boys in our, our actual first hit out um, in, in Port gear for me. It was it was pretty amazing. I uh, moved over here in the off season, and yeah, just to be out there in our young forward line, and um, we started slowly, but you could see in the second half that the boys really kicked in the gear, and yeah, I'm really excited for 2022. It was a, a very sort of close, a bit of a fumbly and sloppy first half. What was said at halftime by Ken, and, and uh, how impressed do you think you were that the, the boys responded after that? Yeah, that's expected in, in pre-season games. Um, we've just had a, had a very hard um, pre-season, and all the boys are coming off that. Um, they're in good nick, and yeah, um, Ken just went back to the basics that um, Port Adelaide Football Club are, good, are known for, and that was just the contest and that. We got beaten there in the first half, and um, yeah, we just went back to the basics, and obviously we're learning new things out there, new game plans and that, and yeah, the boys really showed that in the second half, and yeah, can't be more excited. Talked about the young forward line. Uh, yourself, you had Mitch Georgiatis in there, who got a, you know, a bag full of goals as well. Todd Marshall started to get some touches late, and Connor Rosie as well, a couple. How do you think the, the forward line's starting to gel a little bit now that you, you're getting a few games together? Yeah, obviously with Charlie going down, he's probably the main, main man down there, but uh, it's just really exciting that, like you said, all the young blokes down there, and um, we're all gelling, and that game today, it was just it showed in the second half that when, when we all gel together, obviously we're young, but um, yeah, the Port fans should be really excited that Toddy and my, um, Mitch, they're, um, they're going to be superstars and we just can't wait to play alongside them. And then you have Butters and Bokey and Wines come down there as a resting mid. It's just, yeah, I've never been in a team like this and um, yeah, really excited. Round one's fast approaching us. Uh, how do you feel about that? Hopefully you'll be making your Port Adelaide official debut. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, hopefully the Port fans can get down to Brisbane and um, cheer us on and... Um, yeah, I can't wait for round one. Obviously, we just logged it out in the um, pre-season and um, starting a new year, a new team. Um, I, I'm very excited and I can't wait for the year year ahead and, yeah, bring it on. Just one last one. It was a showdown. I know that it was a pre-season showdown. Did anyone explain to you a bit about that rivalry and, and the passion that goes between the Port Adelaide and the Crows supporters? Yeah, I actually had dinner at Sam Jacobs' house uh, during the week, so I was a bit iffy and um, I couldn't say too much just in case he said something. But... Um, yeah, he, he, he was talking about the, the rivalry and uh, like Rosie and those boys, Mitch, they've all they've all said it to me. And um, even up in Sydney, when I was playing up in Sydney, you could see that um, it's a massive showdown. Um, and now to be hopefully a part of it through the season, um, yeah, I, I get goosebumps right now talking about it. And um, yeah, I can't wait and bring on, bring on the year.